building a successful franchise, one of the area's biggest, most competitive businesses. Founders and employees of Pisgah Brewing are marking 10 years in operation. News 13's Hope Hanselman shows us how the local brewery got its start. Pisgah Brewing. There's an unsuspecting room in Black Mountain. Oh yeah. Brimming with gold. So this tap right here has been pouring Pisgah Pale for seven years. Dave Quinn pours the decade-old recipe he thought up in his kitchen, the one he entered into his first homebrew contest and gave him something more valuable in return. There my name was in Dave Quinn Gold. The right drink for a dream. And I went into the banks and said, I have a medal and I have a plan and I have a dream and I need some money. But would you give this kid half a million dollars? And the guy asked me for my ID. The banks didn't think so either. Maybe somebody would invest in me. The then 25 year old had a boyish spirit that wouldn't quit. And I was starting this company, I didn't have a lot of money, right? Dave scaled down, scraped together his family's savings. Oh, there were lots of hard times. That first year, I maxed out all my credit cards. Um, I took my car off the road and was riding a scooter to work because um, I couldn't afford the car insurance. His first business loan came in the form of empty kegs. It was repaid in hope. Never was I scared that we were going to go out of business. I always figured I would just work a little harder and make a little more beer. Cannon beer off. Today, Pisgah Brewing is five times the size, with ten times the staff. It's not just me making pale ale in a room anymore. It, it grew because people kept coming here and wanting to be a part of what was going on. I had to be ten years old. A decade to treasure. This project is way too big. And thirsty for more. Mm, it's like sipping on a dark chocolate bar. In Black Mountain, Hope Hanselman, News 13.